Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. We are here for our weekly page poll. I'm going to be doing these two or three times a week. Let's see what message the universe has for us today. I hope you're having a fabulous day, afternoon, morning, night, whatever time it is where you live. Yes, this is manifestation energy. I constantly receive incredible gifts. All right, here we go, lovies. Learn to accept prosperity instead of exchanging it. If a friend gives you a gift or takes you to lunch, you don't have to immediately reciprocate. Allow the person to give you the gift. Accept it with joy and pleasure. You may never reciprocate to that person. You may give to someone else. If someone gives you a gift that you can't use or don't want, say, I accept with, I accept with joy and pleasure and gratitude and pass it on to someone else. And then on the left side, it says, I can give you lots of good advice and lots of wonderful new ideas, but you are in control. You can accept them or not. You have the power. Put this up in case anybody wants to screenshot. My book is totally falling apart, you guys. Like the binding is, is wrecked. Um, it drives me bonkers too. Um, maybe I should just buy a new one. Maybe I'll gift this one to uh, my nieces and my nephews. I know that they would probably love a little hand-me-down from me. Um, so anyway, I constantly receive gifts. So maybe me giving them the gift is, <laughs> is a sign I should do it. And so I just had that thought, a little intuitive message here. If you're having the thought to do something, like I just had that thought, oh, I should gift this to them. That's something that I will absolutely 100% take action on. And I encourage all of you, when you have a quick thought like that, that's your intuition saying what you should do. So now I'm definitely going to go buy this book and I'm going to go give, give this to, I'll probably gift it to my oldest niece, Casey. She's going to college next year. And I feel like she would really benefit um, from maybe picking a page or maybe I'll write her like a long note inside of this. But the message that the universe has for us today is about learn to accept prosperity. So when this is something that I teach all the time, it's, it's almost like the most common lesson I teach in my readings is I first ask my client, are you good at receiving? And the way, you know, you're good at receiving is, are you somebody that says, no, 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 I'll do it. You don't have to help me. If you are ever saying that statement, you are not good at receiving and you will struggle with manifesting. You need to have the energy where you're, you're always knowing that you're worthy of accepting a gift if somebody's offering it and it's not greed and it's not selfish. It is a beautiful offering of a hug, a hug, love, whatever. I see it as a hug and love energetically. You know, somebody might be offering to pay for your meal. They're offering you love. They're offering you a hug. They're saying, I want to feed your belly today. Please accept this. And I know when I'm offering to pay for something for somebody, it's a total offering. I'm like, yay, let me take care of you. I want to provide for you. And when people refuse it, it kind of makes me bummed. So if you can flip it and see that you're disappointing somebody else when you say no, and then you're also neglecting yourself and not receiving the love that the universe is giving to you through other people, that's you not being good at receiving. And when we're manifesting and calling in our desires, we always have to be in the vibration of receptive mode. We are always open. We are always saying, thank you, universe. I'm open to all of your miracles today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we receive. And that's when the magic starts to unfold is because we are saying and putting out this energy that I am worthy of having everything I want. And I am not going to judge how it comes in, whether it comes in through a free lunch, whether it comes in through maybe, um, I don't know, somebody get buying you a gift card to get gas, um, whatever it is. I'm not good at thinking off, off top, the top of my head examples, but we have to be open to receiving love. The universe is sending us all these beautiful things through other people. And sometimes we don't want to accept a gift because of who it's coming from. Maybe we have some anger towards them. Maybe we have some frustration, but what if the universe is just using that person as a little actor in the movie in your life? And you just have to say yes and not think about so much. Who's the, de who's the delivery person. You just don't worry about who's gifting it to you. Just see it as the universe using them to bring you love, to bring you what you're sitting around and manifesting each night before bed. So be open to receiving these gifts. There's one more thing I'm being guided to read. 
allow the person to give you the gift, accept it with joy and pleasure. Oh, it says you may never reciprocate to that person. You may give to someone else. So here's an example. I know why my guides just had me reread that because when I was reading that initially, I was having the thought, oh, I have to tell them this story that just happened to me. So I did a reading um, a while back for a girl who's on food stamps and she's a single mom and she's living with her parents. She's really struggling. So I gifted her a free reading and then I honored her and I sent her a lot of uh, some extra money for food for the week. And <laughs> um, she was so grateful. And she, and and that was me paying it forward because, you know, somebody had tipped me. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go do a free reading and I'm going to gift her some money to help her along her journey. Well, shortly after that, because of our reading and because of my guidance, she manifested $8,000. I think it was $8,500. So she had come into a bunch of money. Well, the other night, this is how the universe works and how it reciprocates and how when you pay it forward, you get double back. So I'm sharing this to let you know how to manifest money. So when we are getting a gift from somebody, whether it's money, a hug, food, whatever, our job is to now not reciprocate back to that person, but to pay it forward. So I was paying it forward by giving her some money and a free reading. Now the universe was gifting it back to me. And in that way, it was a woman donating on my YouTube channel, which was so cool. So I got $100 from her, which was awesome. I was so grateful. That happened the next day. So after I had given, I gave um, that girl $111. Of course, I did angel numbers. And then I got $100 the next day. So I got it back. And then what happened was she ended up wanting to pay me back for that money that I gave her to feed her and her daughter. So two nights ago, I got an Instagram DM from her and she had sent me a target gift card for $222. And she just was like, Michelle, I don't know what I would do without your guidance. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You have the kindest heart. I can't believe you gave me money and you gave me like the reading. And it was just like, she just was really, really grateful. And, um, that's how the universe works. So I didn't for once, like I'm not rolling in the dough. I shouldn't say that out loud. I am rolling in the dough. The universe pays all my bills, but I actually, the day that I got the $222, I had canceled two appointments to go be supportive to a 17 year old boy that I am mentoring. And I went to his lacrosse game and it was really far away. And he asked me to go that morning. And I'm like, you know what? I want to support him. I'm going to cancel two of my sessions. I'm going to give up my income for the day, spend a lot of money on gas but I know the universe will provide that night is when I got the $222. So you can see how this receiving mode happens when we are willing to give our, our time, our service, give love to other people. I was giving love to that boy and showing up for him when he asked me to, and I was not fixated on money. I just believed that it would come and I would be protected and I would be uh, provided for And even like with me giving the gift of the money to the girl who was struggling, like I just know that I was going to get repaid for that. And I got the donation the next day. So things are always being, whatever you send out is what you're going to get back is what I'm trying to say. But you have to be open to receiving these gifts. You know, a part of me, uh, some other people might, might have felt uncomfortable receiving that Target gift card. Or maybe they would have not taken off of work to go support a child. Um, They would have been in their fear mindset and their lack, like, no, I got to pay my bills. I can't do this. But when we open ourselves up to the universal flow and we say, no, I'm always taken care of. I trust my heart right now. This feels good to go there. This feels good to drive pretty far away to go support another human being who's looking for love it feels good to do that. So I trust that if I'm following my heart, the universe will provide money for me to follow my heart. And that's the message I want to leave you with today. If you can get yourself into that energy, into that flow of trusting that you're always provided for, you're always receiving gifts because you're open and saying, yes, you are, you never have to worry and you can gift people money. You can tip people. You can offer your services for free and not be fearful of losing. We are never in lack. We are always so, so abundant. Start living that way. Start feeling that way. Wake wake up feeling so abundant in love and joy and money, and it will start to flood into your life. 
All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you need some coaching on this, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do intuitive readings. I do a mentorship program. So I would love to help you learn how to live in that vibration of re receptive mode. All right, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.